Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus. Uh, I had Leo and Taurus with the most views last month, or actually the beginning of this month. So, uh, those, uh, I encourage you guys to comment, like, and share my videos. Uh, for every time I do readings or I upload videos, I'm going to go off of the videos that have the most views or the most comments. And those are the videos that I will be pulling up, uh, you know, next time around. Uh, the first ones to basically go upload it. So there you go. So Taurus, if you guys are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage you to do so so you could get the newest notifications. And let's get into your reading. I want to wish all of you guys, all my lovely Taurus, I love you guys. You guys are amazing people. I want to send out a big uh, shout out and love to you guys. Happy Hallows Eve. Happy Halloween. And be safe out there, you guys. Okay? So let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month, the mid-month of October 2017. You have cards popping out already, Taurus. Oh, all right. Spread. What are the messages for Taurus for the mid month of October 2017 regarding their love life? All right, so you have all your cards. Now I'm going to be pulling out your partner's cards or the person you're dealing with for the mid month of October 2017. So your first card is the Two of Wands, then you have the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Strength card. Okay, your partner's cards, the Hermit, the King of Swords, whoa, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. All right, so I'm going to be pulling out your current situation. Spirit, please give me, oh, okay, oh. All right, so as of now, you're the only sign that as a general situation, you have three cards popping out. Okay, so let's get into the current situation or current scenario at the present time. So you have the moon card here and you also have the six of swords and the justice card. So, <coughs> excuse me. So Taurus, for the mid month of October, you guys are going to be dealing with a lot of, a lot of things that were hidden from you. A lot of things of uncertainty, feeling of uncertainty, not knowing what path to go, not going or actually taking steps, not really knowing what direction to take. Um, but more so, I feel that you still have doubts in reference to a past lover or a person that was from your past, that you're still stuck in not either not wanting to move on from or wanting more clarity in regards to that person. Now, with the moon card, it can also represent, um, for this month of October, we have Jupiter in Scorpio. So again, the moon can represent everything that is hidden, but it can also represent clarity from that which was hidden. And because you do have the six of swords, you're moving on from uncertainty, moving on towards calmer waters, um, feeling more sure of yourself, feeling like, you know what, at the end of the day, this didn't work out. And if it didn't work out the first or second time, it's not going to work out the third so you were able to walk away or pull yourself away from that situation. For some of you guys, you guys still haven't found that strength or courage that you have deep within yourself to be able to detach yourself from the situation. So keep in mind, some of you guys may still be uh, linked or still reaching out to an ex-partner or someone that you're just not really ready, I guess, to let go of. But with the Six of Swords, whether you want to or not, circumstances are going to continuously keep coming about where you're going to have no other choice but to move forward. Now, you are moving, for those of you guys that have already moved forward and uh, even investing more time or putting effort into another person, you have the, ju the Judgment card here. So the Judgment card uh, definitely speaks about a person from the past coming back. So it's kind of like you're finally wanting to detach yourself. You know that there's uncertainty behind this. You're moving on. And then again, that lover, or that person from the past comes back again or tries to reach out for a second chance. Now, normally, uh, depending on how the judgment card falls, 
it's usually a you're going to have a second opportunity and it's going to be a positive. But because the moon card is basically mirroring the judgment card, understand and know that if this person reaches out to you or wants to come back to you, understand and know that you need to let it go. You need to move forward. Okay. You can't move forward looking back and you need to understand that on a deeper level. Now, for those of you guys currently, um, in a relationship and it is a stable relationship or committed long-term relationship this could be an energy of a person from your family or a family member of your partner that has been sketchy or has kept secrets from you guys um almost in a hating type of you know like they congratulate you for oh wow you guys have been together for so long but deep down inside, it's like they're envious of that of, of basically your relationship. So you need to let go of that, Taurus. You need to let go of people that no longer serve you and move forward, okay? Judgment card is here to tell you. Um, at the end of the day, perhaps you are quick to forgive people or think that people can get it right the second or third try. Uh, if you've given seconds and third tries, it's time to let that go. It's not serving you. You need to move on from that, okay? So the cards that represent you and how you see this partner or the person you're dealing with at the present, you have the two of wands. So you're definitely investing or putting effort towards a new person that's in your life at the present time. And I say new person because you do have the ace of cups here. So it's the beginning stages. For some of you guys, the two could represent partnerships. So obviously this is a love reading. So there is a probab probability um, of a connection with a person that you're dealing with. This is a new person, again, like I said. But you do have the seven of swords. So the seven of swords speaks about sneaky behavior. This could be the fact that you're talking to them, but you're actually putting effort or actually giving your attention towards the person that did you wrong. Uh, so you're the one in this situation that's not being completely honest. Um, it could be that you're dealing with a new person and based on dealing with that new person, the ex comes back around and you're still willing to entertain them, basically. Uh, the Seven of Swords is basically here as a forewarning. Understand and know that every behavior they've done in the past just speaks about their character. So what that means is, I am, you know, I always encourage everyone to give other people a second try. We're not perfect. We are human and we're human flawed. Um, you know, although I don't truly believe that, but as as a spiritual advisor, that is one of the you know one one of the key things to do, which is to encourage people for forgiveness and understanding that we're not perfect. Me on a personal level, if I keep it 100, if they didn't get it right the first time, they're not going to get it right the second, third, fourth, or fifth time. So this Seven of Swords is here to represent uh, a forewarning, letting you know, hey. If you're the one that's being sneaky now, if you're the one that's not being completely honest with the person you're dealing with, whether it's because you are leading them on to think that you have feelings for them when in reality you still have feelings for your partner, that's still uh, sneaky behavior. It's kind of like you're just dealing with them only to see if you are able to move forward or make something happen with the next. And if that's the energy for some of you guys, now I understand please that this is a general reading. It doesn't have to resonate 100% with you. If you want that, then I encourage you to get a private consultation. But again, like I said, it is a general reading. So this could be your energy or this could be your ex's energy. Keep that in mind. But again, if this is you, the one that's dealing with an ex, but now you're dealing with someone new, now this is you taking on this energy of the seven of swords. So be very mindful about that and be very understanding of that. Okay. I have my phone going off all weird. Um, I hope you guys forgive that. Usually when my spirit guides are present, my anything that has to do with <sighs> anything that has to do with um, electricity, all that stuff, it just goes bananas. Anyways, moving on. So you have the Ace of Cups here. And the Ace of uh, Cups is, again, like I said, new beginnings for a new chapter, opportunity uh, for growth and advancement in regards to your love life. Uh, there is definitely a promising person. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Leo because this is a, the Strength card. 
Um, so you guys may be dealing with the Leo if this, in fact, is a new person. If the person from the past was a Leo, then um, definitely, you know, again, like I said, just keep in mind that if whatever past behaviors they've done, they're going to continue to do, th that hasn't changed. Uh, if this is a new person that you're dealing with, uh, whether it's a Leo or whether it's a fire sign, which would be a Sagittarius in Aries or a Leo, um, th again, like I said, there is promise for new beginnings and new advancements in this relationship. Um, so anyways, moving on, you are definitely, I do want to mention, um, the strength card is definitely talking to me about very high sexual energy. So for some of you guys, um, perhaps you are going to, for those of you guys that are single at the present time, there's definitely a person coming into your life that is going to ignite the passion within you. And it's going to be almost like a instant a physical attraction towards one another. Now, don't knock that out. It doesn't necessarily mean, oh, just because I'm sexually connected to them, it doesn't mean that it's on a deeper level because the Ace of Cups is here. So the Ace of Cups is a promise uh, for possibility of something advancing and becoming more stable okay now how your partner is viewing you at the present time is the hermit card so the hermit card is they're definitely seeing you as you're very closed off you're not uh communicating with them as you should or as you normally would um could be even like being almost a little antisocial at the present time you have the king of swords here and the king of swords is definitely not your energy so this could be an air sign uh, that you're dealing with or it could be an air sign that your partner is currently dealing with um, could be both male or female doesn't have to be uh, doesn't have to be male just because it's the king and the king of swords is definitely an energy of a person that's very cutthroat um, they could see through bullshit they're very good and vigilant at studying people um, if this person that you're dealing with and this is a new person that you're dealing with. If this new person that you're dealing with is not an air sign, uh, but in fact a fire sign, they could be taking on the qualities of the king of swords. So again, like I said, the king of, the king of swords is someone that's very vigilant, someone that is definitely taking notes on your reactions or actions and your words. And as you can see here, the king of swords is definitely looking towards the hermit and you're, uh, they're, seeing you as a hermit so they're studying you they're they're putting close attention to you almost watching everything you do even on social media even on um even when you're not aware that they're studying you they're definitely studying you now you have the king of sorry the queen of pentacles here and this is your energy taurus but as you can see here, it doesn't have to be, again, like I said, male, uh, female, just because it's the queen. It, you could be taking on the qualities of the queen of pentacles. Um, but if you can see here, the king is looking towards the hermit. And the queen is looking towards the nine of swords. I'll show you the nine of swords right now. The nine of, this is how your partner is viewing you. So they're seeing you. Okay, your partner is looking at you as not who you really are, only because you've kind of lost yourself or you have started acting in a different way towards them, maybe more cold, more standoffish. And they're seeing you, again, like I said, like the hermit, like you're not wanting to socialize, you're not wanting to share what you're feeling, you're not open, you're not as open as you usually would be with your partner. And as you can see, the king and queen are not facing each other. So what this what this is telling me is basically that you guys are not seeing each other eye to eye at the present time. It's like everyone has different opinions <laughs> or uh, different expectations. Now, again, like I said, the, the king of swords is definitely not your energy. This could be your partner's energy. And again, like I said, the king of swords is, is looking at you. Uh, from a very mental standpoint, they're not being emotional about it. They may not even speak, like, tell you or call you out on, you know, how you've been acting with them, but they're definitely noting that in their mind. And the Queen of Pentacles, which is your energy, Taurus, you're looking towards this Nine of Swords. So you're still feeling bounded or you're still feeling tied to a person from your past. Okay? Now, for those of you guys that have been in a serious monogamous relationship, the t this takes a whole different aspect, okay? The two of wands, this is how they're seeing you. Sorry, how you're seeing your partner. And the two of wands is you're the one that's been trying to communicate or open up to them 
uh, try to understand each other. Um, but with the Seven of Swords, there's definitely a sneaky behavior or something they're not telling you. And with the Ace of uh, Cups here, there's going to be a moment of clarity by the middle of the month. Um, so I would say the third week of the month, there's going to be a moment where they're going to be able to open up to you or you can open up to them. Based on that, if you take that window of opportunity or if they take that window of opportunity, there's going to be almost a balance happen here where there's going to be an exchange of energies that you can both balance each other out. Now, if you guys decide not to address the elephant in the room or not to open up and speak about what's bothering you guys, because I feel that this is just not your partner. This is also you. Things that they've been doing that you're not appreciative or you're not okay with. And I feel that if there is, if you guys don't take that by the middle, by the third week of the month, you're going to completely shut off. And this is how they're going to see you. They're going to see you as a hermit, a person that doesn't want to socialize, a person that's just secluded or doesn't want to speak their mind. They may be a little vengeful in the sense of they may be, you know, they might almost, I wouldn't say disrespect, but express themselves in a very aggressive way. And the only reason why they're doing that, they're not doing it out of spite or hate. They're doing it because they're trying to get a reaction out of you because they know and they're aware that you're not looking towards them. So it's like you're so focused in yourself and what's going on in your head that you're kind of neglecting your partner. So they may take the approach of the aggressor and not to make you feel less than or to disrespect you, but more just to get a reaction out of you, just to see if you still care for them, just to see if you're willing to put the effort to communicate to them or to express to them what you're going through, what you're feeling at the present time. Now with the Nine of Swords here, this is your energy. You're looking towards the Nine of Swords. So you're feeling bounded. You're feeling uh, like you can't move forward. You can't move backwards. There's a feeling of stuckness here. And this stuckness has to do with mental anxiety or things on a mental level than what it is on a physical. So what I mean by that is if you're in a relationship or you've been dating someone for a while now and that relationship is not moving forward, you need to make a choice whether you want to detach yourself from that or whether you want to continue being in the relationship that is not serving you in any shape, way or form. And if that's the fact, even not making a choice is still a choice. So you're making a decision whether you act on it or not to stay there and be bounded and feel stressed and feel like you're having anxiety because you're there but you don't want to be there so you have to walk away from what d no longer serves you Taurus now again like I said for those of you guys that are currently single or have been single you need to let go of that person from your past I know it's easier said than done but again like I said if they start creeping back into your life you need to understand that if they didn't get it right the first chance or second chance you gave to them the third and fourth they're just going to walk all over you and the reason I say that is because a lot of the times, this is how I see it. When you give a person an opportunity, a first chance or a second chance, then you're showing compassion and you're showing, uh, you're showing that you are aware that everyone has and makes mistakes. When you give a, more than a second chance, a third or fourth chance, then you're showing them that it's okay for them to treat you the way they've been treating you. It's okay for you not to get it right because you're still going to continuously keep giving them that opportunity. And when you give them more than a fourth or fifth try, what you're telling them is, hey, you know what? I don't value myself. I don't appreciate myself. I don't know my worth. You tell me what my worth is. And they will continuously keep stepping all over you. I hope that makes sense. It may not resonate with everyone, but those are very direct messages. I hope you, uh, you guys enjoyed this reading. Comment, like, and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe to my channel, and we will see each other in the beginning of November. Again, happy Halloween.